going over the 2024 Colt here, Warhorse Overland. Now all these trailers, starting with the tongue, have a removable tongue here. So this is removable, not just for security. So Ricky here doesn't steal it, but also you can put a lock and roll or whatever sort of, um, whatever, whatever sort of setup you, you desire. It's also very serviceable. What I try to do with these trailers is make everything as serviceable as possible. I intend for my customers to have these for many, many, many years. So it's, it's already happened where, you know, there's trees fall on these things and I gotta, I gotta replace things. So, uh, making things serviceable for one, two rugged of course, and then three customizable. Customizable has always been my thing. So what you'll see here is sort of a new format on the rack. I can still do the tube style racks, but this is sort of the new standard. It's what you see on a lot of truck beds these days. It's, it's not just super cool, but it also serves a pretty cool purpose. I, I strayed away from it for a little bit. I didn't think it served really that much utility until I actually had one built and implemented it. But you can see, you can mount cool little things like shovel mounts on the front, but also mind you on the back. You could also mount, you know, simple, simple eyelets, you know, something like this could, could easily go in these, go in this slot. You know, it's again, the trailer, the world is your oyster, so to speak with these trailers. That's, that's the name of the game here. We don't really want to confine you to, to one particular sort of setup. So I put my beat up traction boards on there to prove a point. I would never really do this, but you can put them under here as well. So these can easily mount here. You have some roto packs, bolt patterns. Uh, on the trailers moving forward, you'll have two, uh, you'll have a set of two, you'll have three sets of two holes going up and down the left, right, and the middle of this trailer. Reason being is you can add these with a simple spacer to give you clearance off the trailer, you can you can easily add these front panel pieces, uh, extras to add more surface surfaces to bolt on. You know, add a diesel heater like what I have here, or uh, toolboxes, things like that. Same sort of door format, key to like locking, of course, removable doors, so these can come on and off. Again, going back to the, the serviceable, the serviceable aspect of these trailers. If I can get this in, all right, cool. Everything's trimmed and waterproof. Another thing we have on the side is an optional Molly panel. These are really cool because they have sort of a universal bolting pattern that with just simple washers, you can pretty much strap anything you want to these things. So these are optional. Um, otherwise, you will have brackets welded to the side where you can put strapping, these uh, strapping strips that you'll see on my website here soon. Again, for being able to mount toolboxes and other things. Open sort of top design there. Again, just adding simple eyelets there for for tie downs you could fit still a lot of quite a lot of stuff up there oh going back to the molly panel you can notice kind of how i got that on there so roto packs just about anything you can bolt these in this format it's really cool Going kind of lower here, just standard 15 inch pro comps on some uh, 30 inch Wranglers. This is just a discount tire brand, 30 inch tire. We have a Timberin independent suspension. We also have a lot of conduit under there for, again, a big thing I see a lot of people doing is extra electrical. So I'll show you inside the trailer what I did for the electrical portion, but well, under the trailer, so you have a tongue box with some battery with a battery pack. It's going to be exceptionally easy for you to port under the trailer and distribute wiring and power pretty much anywhere. 
Uh, there will also be conduit inside each main pillar. So let's say you come up through the corner, you could easily come up the pillar. And there will also be conduit up on the roof as well. So you can distribute uh, wiring to anywhere within the trailer for lighting, etc. Um, moving to the back, we have these arc rear stabilizing jacks. These are not just stabilizers. They actually do carry, I believe, a 2,000 pound load rating. So with both of them, more than enough to jack the trailer up completely, which actually works great when you're trying to change a tire on these things too. Just jack them up. Three quarter inch uh, socket, just get an impact, but it also does come with a little hand crank to crank these things up. You got your two inch receiver, mount whatever you want on the back of there. Also what's new is um, these rear tire swing gates. All in all, just a more secure uh, setup. And also, what this thing does is gives you just more table space. You can also do really creative things. There's, you know, roto pack inserts for the front of your tire, and people can do a bunch of crazy stuff around the tire. But on the back, you know, we have these rear tables we can throw on there. On the rear door, of course, we can put a table. I haven't put one on this one yet, but you see there's no mounting bracket in the future. These marks are for is there's gonna be welded on mounting bracket, mounting bracket, and you'll have, again, on the website, you'll see strapping, customized strapping that we make that goes down that has holes every two inches, allowing you to put whatever sort of rear down, rear fold down table your heart desires on the back. Um, again, fully sealed, weatherproof, steel floor. This is what I was talking about with the lighting. So you have strut channel on the top, so you can insert pretty much a slew of different nuts and things and accessories to mount lights. You also have some uh, strut channel on the side for, you know, um, attaching things or whatever, whatever sort of customizations you feel like doing. So in all, pretty, um, pretty simple, but yet will last a, last a lifetime. Feel free to reach out with any questions and I can't remember if I covered it in the video, but, uh, Tongues can be added. A tongue length can be added. So this is this is the shortest tongue length we make, 45, right to the tube. We can make an extra 12 inches for fuel cans, propane tanks. That will then 45 uh, to the uh, receiver. So that's always an option. Thanks for watching.